Alright, that's it. I'm leaving the fandom. This show has jumped the shark. I'm never watching it again. I'm out of Oh, didn't see you there. I was just practicing for whatever gets revealed about Season 4 at Comic-Con. Okay, now that I finished practicing, I can actually see the previews. Well, it seems that all my practicing was for naught, because these previews actually have me super hyped for Season 4. So the animatic we saw contained parts from four different episodes, so let's look at these individually. First up, we have Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon taunting Scootaloo for not being able to fly, and that's awesome. Well, I mean, it's not awesome that Skittle is being taunted, but it is awesome that we finally have an episode focusing on it. I mean, we all knew that Scootaloo couldn't fly, but it was never really explicitly mentioned before. Scootaloo dealing with her disability is an episode we all knew would happen eventually, but now it finally is happening. And there's something else, too. They mentioned both the Equestria games and Miss Harshwini. Remember those from Games Ponies Play? It looks to me like the Equestria games are shaping up to be like the Grand Galloping Gala, where it will slowly be built up to in previous episodes, and then finally happens and it's super awesome and amazing. Except this one will be even cooler because the continuity for it stretches across different seasons. The second preview we get is... Interesting. So the main six are all superheroes now in the city of Mertropolis. Hehe, <laughs> love it. And some pony just robbed the bank. So I think it's safe to assume here that this is some form of dream sequence or something like that at least. But the interesting thing here is that My Little Pony has expanded into the superhero genre now. Hang on, didn't I talk about this before? Ah uh, yes, where did I put my genre map? Uh, ah, here it is. The MLP assault continues. Having successfully conquered the high school drama empire, the pony forces begin to advance towards the superhero genre. Will the superhero movies be able to withstand the might of the incoming My Little Pony army? Only time will tell. That's right guys, it's happening. MLP truly is starting to invade other genres. What's next? A song? Oh boy, I love songs, and I love this song. The best part is, we got the full song, so we can expect to see remixes within, oh, I'd say, the hour. And while the song is catchy and fantastic and all that, this does raise some interesting questions, mainly. The apples seem to be moving, so where are they going, and why is Pinkie Pie with them? Something else to keep in mind is that Megan McCarthy confirmed that we would get an episode with the rest of Pinkie's family, so I thought of two different explanations. One is that this episode will be a bit of a rehash of Sisterhood Social, where, for whatever reason, Pinky decides that she doesn't like the rest of her family and then runs off with the Apple family. It's also possible that they are taking a trip to the Rock Farm and will meet Pinky's family that way. It's also totally possible that these are from entirely different episodes and I just have no idea what I'm talking about. Ah, the fourth thing. Now this is something to get excited about. Nightmare Moon is back! Now before we talk about why Nightmare Moon is back, let's all just take a moment to appreciate the totally awesome cinematography behind Luna's transformation here. <laughs> Man, this is going to look so epic when it's fully animated. Anyway, there are two ideas going around right now as to why this scene is happening. One is that Luna is regressing back into her Nightmare Moon state, probably as the result of some form of trauma or something like that. The other idea is that Twilight is experiencing the events of the ancient past, either through some form of time travel or through experiencing Celestia's own memories. While the latter is probably the most likely, as it's supported by a number of things that Luna says, I would kind of prefer to see the former. I like the idea of Nightmare Moon still being a threat that could return, as opposed to just being a villain that is long dead. This is what the comics did with the Nightmarity story arc, and that was pretty awesome. Nonetheless, whatever happens, we're going to be getting some insight on how exactly Nightmare Moon came to be from Luna, and I think we can all agree that that would be sweet. Also, we can see that this is the first episode of the season, so my fingers are crossed for a super epic two-parter. Thanks for watching.